Now to San Francisco tonight, where the DA has decided not to charge a Walgreens security guard after the fatal shooting of an alleged shoplifter. Tonight here, what the surveillance shows and the calls this evening for the state now to investigate. Ike Chachi in San Francisco for us. Tonight, the lawyer for Banco Brown's family slamming the San Francisco DA's decision not to file charges against the security guard who fatally shot Brown in an alleged shoplifting incident, calling it a grave injustice. This had been essentially a petty theft case, and a person dies as a consequence of that. That's fundamentally wrong. Authorities say the confrontation on April 27th unfolded as armed security guard Michael Anthony confronted Brown inside Walgreens for allegedly stealing. Surveillance videos showing the two in a scuffle. According to prosecutors, Anthony said Brown spit on him and repeatedly threatened to stab him. As Brown left the store, Anthony says Brown turned and lunged in his direction, the security guard shooting Brown once in the chest, later describing that moment to investigators. I felt like I was in danger. I felt like I was going to be stabbed. Brown was treated at the scene but died at the hospital. Authorities say a knife was not found in his possession. David, tonight there are calls among some city leaders to have California's Attorney General and the DOJ review the case. David? Ike Chachi in San Francisco. Ike, thank you. When we come back here tonight.